Good morning. So my name is Mathieu Beau. So um, I'm the teacher leader of the mathematics and the science department at the International School of Boston. So this is a French-American school in Cambridge, as you can hear French, indeed. So, so I'm also actually the AI coordinator at the school. And so what I would like to do today is to share with you a bunch of initiatives that we are taking in high school in order to hopefully enhance teaching in high school with the implementation of AI. So basically, we decided to go through, through three, different, um, three different objectives. So the first one is to implement AI in our STEM classroom. Alors, not only the STEM, don't worry, okay, humanities, we are going to do that too, but of course because I'm a STEM teacher, I'm gonna talk about it. Um, we also develop pilot programs in order to teach AI and to teach other uh, skills through AI. So that's what I'm going to talk about. And we want to develop an AI culture at ASB to make sure that all the teachers and students and actually the community, families and so on, are concerned, are interested in AI, and are involved in the process. So first, um, I'm very proud of this picture, I hope you like it. Uh, so first, we want to, I want to explain how I implement AI in our STEM classroom. So what we realized after playing with AI for about two years, well, generative AI, of course, is that the first outcome that we have is that this is a tool that can boost creativity and speed up production material, but I insist, can. It also cannot. It depends how you do it. For instance, Python. Okay, Python coding is very good. You know, everybody is excited about it. I play with Python, but sometimes when I do Python using generative AI, like ChatGPT, I'm like my students. I just copy paste. Okay. So what we have to do is to make sure that there is a good lesson plan, to make sure that we guide the students and that they learn. Otherwise, this is a waste of time. Same thing with math and science writing and problem solving. You know, we could use ChatGPT, for example to improve math and science writing of students. And we all know that high school students really hate writing, okay? We know that. English, but also math. Listen, this is excellent tool, actually, to say you want to write, for example, a proof by induction. Proof by induction, you agree this is difficult. Thanks to ChatGPT, for example, or other tools, then they can look at the process, reproduce it, and then repeat it. And then at the end, they become independent to, to do the math writing. So this is a very good tool especially for students, for example, who are not native English speakers, as I am. So, and then the next step that we want to do is to increase students' autonomy uh, using Magic School. So that's something I'm not going to talk because this is the next project. Okay, exciting things now. There are things that we couldn't teach in the past, okay? But now, thanks to generative AI, we could teach. For instance, LaTeX. I love LaTeX. I write everything with LaTeX because I did research before becoming a teacher, and I want my students to write using LaTeX. Everybody say, you are crazy. Okay, I am I, because now using ChatGPT, you can teach LaTeX to students, and they produce nice and neat and organized report, which is a dream for a teacher, don't you think? Okay. So it works, okay? Summarizing PDF, when you have a long article that MIT researchers are writing, my students, do you think they can read it? No. However, they can use ChatGPT or Perplexity to summarize the PDF. Now they can read your research. And also, it's not a joke. And they can do also, um, sorry, AI-based online research using Perplexity, which is a nice tool to find different research um, material. But now, the next exciting thing is that next year we are going to create an innovative tech course. So what are we going to do is to teach AI-based curriculum inspired by MIT Rays and Day of AI, but also quantum computing. Yes, I want to teach quantum computing to 10th grade students and 9th grade students. And I tell you one thing is that generative AI helps a lot for that. So I'm going to give you a feedback next year, maybe. Okay, and the tech culture, finally. So two, three years, sorry, ago, I developed a program. So, oops, sorry, some of my students are going at MIT for a summer internship at Muriel's Medar's um, lab. So they do actually machine learning, and thanks again to generative AI, they can interpret code that are very difficult. Okay, machine learning could be very difficult, and 
So that's a great thing that we are doing. And also a cafe STEM, which is on AI. Last year I organized that. And I would be happy if some of you could come to our school and we could organize an AI festival, AI fair. OK, thank you very much. So this is our school. As you see, this is very pretty. So you are welcome to come to our school. And I will voilà, be happy. Thank you very much.